welcome to Biostock. Alligator Bioscience is coming off a high after reaching the primary endpoint in their phase two trial with Metazalimab. However, recently uh, with the announcement of their quarterly report, they also announced a restructuring plan. I'm joined in the studio by Alligator CEO, Søren Bregenholt, to talk more about that. Welcome, Søren. Thank you, Michael. Uh, like I mentioned, you're coming off a high. You just had uh, really good results from your phase two trial, uh, and you're now looking for a partner for phase three. Uh, mm -hmm. How difficult is it going to be to find a partner for that? Yeah, first of all, I mean, the, the data, as you said, are, are really, really great. Um, of course, on the, on, on the sort of objective measures like uh, overall survival and uh, durability of response, uh, we saw some, some great numbers. Mm -hmm. But there's also some great, uh, I would say, fantastic patient stories behind it uh, with patients that have complete remissions of all their tumors, mm -hmm. uh, come completely off chemotherapy and also come completely off uh, their opioids to, to take their pain. So I think we have a drug here that in combination with, uh, with standard of care can actually, uh, in some patients, uh, lead to a very, very uh, long uh, survival benefit and in some patients even, uh, even remove uh, their tumors. So I think... As, as a drug and as a drug developer, that's really, really a, a fantastic feeling to have been uh, been part of, of Mr. Salomap's journey this far. So that should facilitate uh, finding a partner. Then. That should facilitate finding a partner. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you there is uh, there is a lot of interest out there uh, from uh, from big pharma, from uh, from big biotech with with their different uh, strategic uh, incentives to uh, to to, uh, to license Mr. Salomap, whether they have a established interest in pancreatic cancer. There's a couple of companies you could mention there. Mm -hmm. Whether they have a broader uh, solid tumor uh, uh, pipeline uh, and metacellumab can be sort of a, uh, a plug-in in, in many indications. Or you have also companies that have sort of sharp patent cliffs coming up looking for, um, uh, for late stage uh, assets. And then you can say that, that the alligator is much more than, than metacellumab. It's also a second generation or third generation actually CD4, the agonists, and, and a lot of technology. So I think there's a lot of opportunities uh, for a partner also looking beyond Mr. Saluma. Well, and I will ask you more about that later on. But uh, continuing on with this, uh, uh, yeah, this upcoming phase three trial, mm -hmm. uh, the FDA recommended you skip a, a phase two B trial mm -hmm. and go directly mm -hmm. to, to phase three. Yeah, yeah. And that speaks to, to the good results, of course. Um, so uh, the, the question is, you, you'll be saving costs by doing this. Is, is this correct? So, so not, not, uh, not going into a phase 2B, uh, of course, saves a lot of costs. Mm -hmm. The phase 2B is probably 150, 200 patients. Mm -hmm. uh, but more importantly, it saves time uh, until we can get the drug uh, to the patients. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, the data is, of course, behind this, but also the very diligent work that we did uh, in, uh, in the phase one study uh, and, and uh, documenting the safety of metazalumab together with fulfurinox have played a big role in this. But yes, that is going to keep the overall cost low, lower, I would say, <laughs> and also uh, keep the timeline shorter. Well, speaking of uh, keeping costs low, you recently announced a uh, restructuring plan mm. of the yeah. organization. Yeah. So I was wondering if you could uh, speak a little bit about that and uh, why you're making this move. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is tied to our, our long-term strategy, which is to, on the backside of a, of a deal with Metasalumab, uh, reinvest our, our proceeds from such a, a deal into our NeoX Prime platform. So that's the molecule we call 4066, mm -hmm. which is uh, late, early stage preclinical. We have a number of early stage discovery uh, programs that we also want to invest in. Mm -hmm. and, and this restructuring um, has, has sort of the main uh, focus on uh, aligning the organization with those goals so that we have the uh, competences and the people we need uh, to drive these programs mm -hmm. uh, continue also to invest in Mr. Salomab. And, uh, and, and then there is a, also a saving with that that allows us to, uh, together with the upcoming uh, financing event, uh, continue to invest in Mr. Salomab and give us a good, comfortable position to, uh, to negotiate the best possible deal uh, for Mr. Salomab. It, you uh, you alluded to this just now. You have an upcoming financing event, a capital raise. Um, what does this what is this going to mean for Alligator moving forward? So so first of all, um, it it is uh, for us crucially important that we continue to invest in Mr. Salomab until mm -hmm. we find a partner. 
This is important for us to show our continued commitment to the program and the fantastic data. Mm -hmm. It's important to continue build value in the program, both uh, manufacturing development, regulatory dialogue, and giving the new partner, uh, when, whenever that partner comes on board, the best possible way to move into phase three uh, as fast as possible. So that's an intrinsic part of the strategy. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, uh, in your latest earnings call, you, you talked about the fact that uh, management and board really believe that Alligator is well positioned for, mm -hmm. for its long-term strategy. Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit more about this long-term strategy? Yeah, but the, uh, the strategy is, uh, is, uh, is very clear. Mm -hmm. uh, it's built on, uh, on our sort of validating the CD40 target with Mr. Salomap. That's taking the industry, I would say, 20 years to get to this mm -hmm. point. Now we got there with Mr. Salomap. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and we have technologies, we have molecules that sort of are the third generation uh, following Mr. Salomap. And, and the main core of the strategy is to continue to invest in these programs, bringing them forward into, uh, into, uh, into clinical studies. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we will continue to invest in 527, mm -hmm. which is our molecule that we co-developed with Aptivo, to have sort of a late stage clinical uh, uh, program that will continue to drive uh, value creation uh, in the company and uh, and hopefully at some point also be an out, out licensing candidate. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Salomap, reinvest those uh, proceeds into the existing pipeline and technology and continue to expand uh, from there. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good to see that Alligator has uh, all its ducks in a row in, a, in that sense. Mm -hmm. uh, well, thanks so much, Søren, for joining me for this interview today and uh, wish you the best. Uh, Thank you, Michael. It's always a pleasure. Thank you.